We thank you for the outreach community. Come on now. For the outreach um, committee, God, we thank you, thank you, thank you, Lord. And we lift our hands as a sign. God, we say thank you. We lift our hands. Come on, y'all. Hallelujah to the King. Hallelujah to the King. He's our Jehovah Jireh. Come on. I know we're here to celebrate, but first let us celebrate the King. We say hallelujah. Glory to your name. I can't hear y'all. Hallelujah. Better be A-OK if that was for me. But to the God that woke you up this morning, the one that started you on your way, he gave you the activity of your limbs. He clothed you in your right mind. And for that, just a little bit of thank you. Come on, Larry Stone. Come on, Larry Stone. I can't hear you. Hallelujah. I can't hear you. Hallelujah. I can't hear y'all. Come on, let's fill this place. Fill this atmosphere with worship. Come on, y'all. Come on, y'all. We say hallelujah to our great father, our sustainer, the lover of our souls, oh God. Hey, are we going to just stop there? Lift up our name, Lord Jesus. We love you. We'll forever give your name the praise, God. If you don't, if you need a reason to praise God, let me tell you what five represents. Because we celebrate 58 years. So five represents God's grace. So we are thanking God that his grace has kept us. And it kept us this far. And the eighth number is for the new beginning. It's for the renewing of our soul. The renewing of our mind. And he's resurrection us, God. So Lavish don't means that by God's grace he got us here and he's given us some newness. So God, we thank you, God. And we lift up our hands to you, God. Oh God, we welcome you in this sanctuary on today, God. God, we ask that you move in here, God. God, we ask that you let your anointing fall, God. Oh my God, let your power reign and fall fresh in this place, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh, we welcome you in this room, God. Oh, Father God, begin to sanctify every chair in this room, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Meet the need of everyone in this room right now, God. If there is someone that needs to be filled, God, I'm asking that you pour right now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, we need you to come on and blow your wind in this place, Father God. Oh, we got to begin, God, to come on in this room, Father God. Oh, Father God, we have not because we ask not, God. So we are simply asking, God, that you come on in here right now, Jesus. Come on in and move by your spirit in this place, God. Oh, God, there is something that we need from you. We are simply saying yes to your will, God. And yes to your way, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, we are going to obey your word. Obey your will, God. Oh, God, we will forever be grateful of your praise. We will forever be grateful of your glory, God. So, Father God, you are welcome in here, God. Oh, God, pour now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Oh, God, come in here, Jesus, God. Jesus, you're welcome. Jesus, you're welcome, God. Oh, God, we will forever be grateful of your glory. We'll forever be grateful of your praise. We'll forever be grateful of the things that you do. We'll forever be grateful of your glory, God. Oh God, we say yes to you, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Bless the one that is bringing the word on today, Father God. Oh, let that word be refilling and refreshing, God. Oh God, don't stop there. Let your oil fill this room. Let your oil fill this room. Let your oil fill this room, Jesus God. Let your oil fill this room. In the mighty name of Jesus God. Oh God, surround us in the oil of God. Let the Spirit come and move in here, God. In the mighty name of Jesus God. We love you all today, God. We lift up our hands in adoration to you, Jesus God. Oh Father God, you're welcome, God. We adore you, Jesus God. We thank you for the activities of our hands, Father God. In the mighty name of Jesus God, we bless your name, God. And we're so grateful of your name. We're grateful of your name. Jesus, you are welcome here. Jesus, come and touch us now. Jesus, come and rest on us now. Jesus, come and restore our soul now, God. In the mighty name of Jesus, God. Sweet, 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 God. Oh, God, we love you, God. Oh, we need you, God. You are 
want from God. Oh, come on in this room. Oh, come on. Bless the name of Jesus. Come on. Come on. Anybody grateful to be in the house of the Lord? Come on. Let's get ready to praise the Lord. Come on. We invite you to stand up on your feet. Let's clap our hands. Come on. Everybody clap those hands. Come on. Not just a day, but always, now and forever. Lord, I'll praise your name. Come on, let's clap our hands. I'll praise your name. I'll praise your name. Your holy name. Oh, yeah. I'll praise your name. Your yes, holy Lord. Your holy name. I'll praise your name. Not just a day. Not just a day. But oh. Your name on with your name on 
With your name on it. 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 God got a blessing. God got a blessing for you. God got a blessing. God got a blessing for you. If you believe it, lift your hands. God got a blessing. God got a blessing for you. Everybody, lift it, lift it, lift it. God got a blessing. 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 He's never too big to bless your situation. Whatever you need, whatever you want, whatever you've been praying for, whatever you've been asking for, God got a blessing. God got a blessing for Say with your name on it. Come on, clap those. Say God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. With my name on it. I say God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. With my name on it. 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 With your 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 name on it. Hey, say God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. God's got a blessing. I say God's got a blessing. Amen. Good afternoon, Lively Stone. 58 years today. Ain't God good? <laughs> Look at someone and say, ain't God good? 58 years. Well, I think I've been here about a good eight years. I want to say about a good eight. And God just been, he just been good, ain't he? He just been real, real good. Look at someone and say, he's been real good. He's been just that good. Y'all ain't trying to have no church this morning. Hey Amen. It's a congregational song that says, As I look back over my life, and I think things are over, I can truly say that I am blessed. I'll have a test the morning. As I look back over my life and begin to think things are over I can truly say that I am blessed I have a test the morning help me say as I look back over my life I begin to think things over we can truly say that we are blessed. We have a testimony. And I said all that to say this. Because you have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. How many believe that this afternoon? Say, so you have rescued my life. Lord, you have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Because my response is Hallelujah. You're my redeemer. Hallelujah. My response is Hallelujah. You're my redeemer. Hallelujah. Lift it up and help me say you. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. 
and I'm never Said you have rescued my life. Oh, you have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Say you have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never. Going back, Lord, you have rescued my life. 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 And I'm never going back. Said you have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. You rescued my life you have rescued my life you have rescued my life say you have rescued my life oh you have rescued my life and I'm never and I'm Cause my response is Hallelujah Say you're my redeemer Hallelujah My response is Declare this. Say, oh, 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 Because you have rescued my life. Oh, you have rescued my life. And I'm never, and I'm never going back. You have rescued my life. 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 And I'm never, and I'm never going back. Cause my response is Get that down in your spirit Hallelujah My response is Hallelujah My response is Hallelujah my response is hallelujah you're my redeemer hallelujah you're my redeemer hallelujah 
I'll never forsake you, Jesus. Lord, I'll never forsake you, Jesus. Yeah. Said, I'll never forsake you, Jesus. Help me say, Lord, said, I'll never forsake you, Jesus. Yeah. Never forsake you, Jesus. Said, I'll never forsake you, Jesus. 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 Lord, I'll never forsake you, Jesus. 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 Because you have rescued my life. You have rescued my life. And I'm never going back. Because I won't go back, I can't go back to the way it used to be Before your presence came and changed me How many believe that this afternoon? I won't go back, I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me I won't go back I can't go back to the way it used to be before your presence came and changed me hallelujah come on and give him a praise this morning Come on, give it to him this morning. Hallelujah. Come on, give God a praise. Hallelujah. Come on, give him praise. He deserves it. Come on, I thought we would do a little better than that. We are excited. How many of you are glad to be here on the day? Come on, just look at your neighbor and say, neighbor, it's good to see you. Come on, come on, that was the wrong neighbor. Look like, find somebody that looked like they're a little bit more excited about God and say, neighbor, it's good to see you. Now look at the same neighbor and say, neighbor, it's good to be seen. Now all the seen folks that's excited about it, I need you to open your mouth and give God a shout of praise in this place. Like you're really glad to be here. Woo! Listen, we are celebrating today. We are celebrating Lively Stone 58 year anniversary. Let me say it again. 58 years of loving and serving like Christ. Anybody that can lift your hands and say, I thank God for the church. I said anybody can say I thank God for the church see a lot of churches closed down after the I got a few witnesses during the pandemic churches closed down organizations closed down restaurants closed down but lively stone you ought to have found somebody to tell them we're still here Lord, I need you to high five about three people and tell them we're still here still serving still loving come on still making way come on we're still here and we thank God for the church I know wow listen sister Robinson there are people that's talking about church hurt but I got about 30 of y'all that can say I ain't gonna talk about church hurt I'm gonna talk about how the church helped the church helped anybody you came here depressed feeling down but when you made it into the house of the Lord 
you did not leave the same way you came. Do I got about 20 of y'all that can say, I thank God for the church? We here and we ain't going nowhere. We here and we're not going nowhere because we're standing on a promise. Look at your neighbor real quick and say, neighbor, the church is standing on the promise. Now to say, you want to know what the promise is? He said, upon this rock, I'll build my church and the gates of hell shall not prevail. Tell your neighbor, that's a promise. And the gates of hell shall not prevail. Come on, I need about 30 of y'all to just grab somebody by the hand and look them in the face and say, neighbor, this next praise is not for cash. It's not for clothes. It's not for cribs. It's not for good credit. But it's for the church. It's for the church. Do I got any really thankful folks for your church? I just want to speak over my church. Can y'all help me? Because the Bible says that the power of life and death is in our tongue. I want to speak over our church. That our church is a blessed church. That our church is an anointed church. That our church shall not die but live to declare tell your neighbor say neighbor our church we got some more souls to save we got some more souls to sing we got some more sermons to preach our church i decree that men and women are coming from the north and south the east and the west children boys and girls that our church is successful that our church is prosperous I, 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 I thank God hey this is the church anniversary can we just take about 30 seconds and give God praise for our church when I count to three I need everybody to clap your hands for your church one two one two three and give a praise Give him a praise. All right. Hallelujah. Somebody scream for your church real loud right now. I thank God that our church is making a difference in the community. Our church is making a difference in Chicago. And I want to decree that our church will continue to make a difference. We just not here on accident. We just not here serving the church, but we serve the community. And Jordan, I want to decree and declare that our church will continue to make a difference. I just believe that our church will continue to be the salt of the earth. That our church will continue to be the light of the world. I believe our church as a result of being on Chicago Avenue that the violence gonna go down oh my god I just believe that's a result of us being on Chicago Avenue the suicide rate gonna go down teenage pregnancy gonna go down college graduates gonna go up I wish I had somebody that wasn't afraid to speak that as a result of being on Chicago Avenue poverty being broke don't go down I decree and declare that we're gonna be a prosperous community 
that the statistics is going to show as a result of being on Chicago Avenue that healing going to take place. Depression going to go down. Anxiety going to go down. ADHD going to go down. OCD going to go down. I speak in stress. Oh my God, I speak it into this house. Look at your neighbor, say neighbor, you are the church and you are called to make a difference. Tell them you are called to make a difference. And as a church, oh my God, I just believe God has told us that the power in life and death is in our tongue don't get mad at me because i'm crazy enough to speak what i believe see some of you got to see it before you speak it but i learned that you can speak it even before you see it all right i'm not gonna go there stop it stop it stop it this is a celebration all right welcome Woo. Woo. Y'all stop y'all, we got a preacher here. Welcome. Praise them, daughter. Woo! That's how it is. Church on fire. Tell your neighbor, neighbor, this church is on fire. Oh, that was the wrong neighbor. Look at the neighbor. Say, neighbor, this church is on fire. Welcome, welcome. We are in the midst of a celebration. We're celebrating 58 years. And we don't apologize. We are unapologetically enthused. We are unapologetically excited. This is our birthday. Come on, Lively Stone. This is our church birthday. And we turn all the way up. All the way up. Everything. is all the way up. All the way up. All the way up. Hallelujah. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome. We are good to see y'all out. We're good to see everyone out. Y'all look good today. God is amazing. God is incredible. God is good. I want to welcome you all to Lively Stone Mission Every Other Church where our mission is we love God and we love people. Amen. If this is your first time with us, watching them virtually on YouTube, I want to thank you for worshiping with us today and our celebration. Come on, make some noise for our online audience. We think, come on, make some noise. We love y'all. Y'all are real people. Let's enjoy the real service, and we thank God for all of you. We are celebrating today uh, 58 years. Um, and I, I can I just say I'm so thankful. I've been praising God all morning, just yes. thankful for our church and, yes. and, and, and the years. And can we, can we, can we, before I go further, can we just thank God for the founder of this church, Pastor Will <laughs> Jenkins Sr., 1966, had a vision. Yes. Woo! My God. My God, whoever thought, whoever thought, wow, and we're still standing on his shoulders, declaring the word of God, thankful for his vision and years of leadership and legacy that he left, and, and to still be here building on that legacy is truly amazing. 
Praise God. Listen, we're going to, at this time, I want us, as we're a church that love God, that's what we've been doing. Can we take about five minutes and just love on each other? I want you to get up out of your seat and go hug about seven people and tell them it's good to see you. I love you. And happy birthday. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. All right. The choir to come on up. Choir. Choir can come on up. Choir can come on up as y'all hug. Come on, I need y'all to, cause some of y'all ain't move. I know y'all ain't huggers and all like that. But can we spread some of that lively stone love? Come on, come on, let's spread some of that lively stone love. We're blessed when we come and when we go. We cast down every stronghold. Sickness and poverty must be the devil is defeated. Come on, spread some of that love. We're a blessed church. Praise the Lord, everybody. Come on, anybody know that God we serve is an awesome God? Look at your neighbor and say, he's an awesome God. Hallelujah. Happy anniversary, church. <laughs> we invite you to stand up on your feet and worship with us. Come on, let's do it. Woo! Come on. Everybody clap those hands. Come. a simple song it says Lord you are awesome yeah. Lord you are awesome yeah. Lord you are awesome come on does anybody believe that Woo. Lord you are awesome everybody singing Lord If it wasn't for your love and it wasn't for your I don't know. Come on, can anybody testify? Woo! If it wasn't for your love and it wasn't for your love and it wasn't for your I don't know. Where I'd be without you. Come on, it's a church song. Let's take it up. Hey, Lord. And sing, hey. Lord, hey. You are an awesome God, Lord. Lord yeah. Awesome. Oh, Lord. Lord, Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. Lord, Lord. 
wasn't for your love And it I don't know Without you, Father If it wasn't And it I don't know Just where I'd be Without you Should be singing and let's lift the Lord. Yeah. Come on, everybody, sing it, Lord. Yeah. Oh, Lord. Y'all sound good. Yeah. If it wasn't for your love, and it, I don't know. Keep on making, keep on making 
on, does anybody know he's a way maker? Tell somebody, God is my everything. Come on, put your hands together. You gotta go old school, it'll be 58 years, right? This is where they started back in the day. We call it a hip slap. Everybody, come clap your hands. Everybody, let's go. Hey, hey, God is. Yeah.
Come on, give God of my everything praise all over the room. Hallelujah. Look at your neighbor and tell him, I don't know what you come to do, baby, but I come to give him praise. Let me see. Let me see if I got a crazy praise. Like this, y'all.
Come on, y'all, make some noise for our children! Woo! My God, my God. Woo, didn't they do amazing, y'all? I need y'all to scream for our youth and children. Come on, we got a future church. We gonna be around here for a while. Woo! My God, my God that was exceptional. That was exceptional. The energy, my God, was amazing. Wow, wow, great job, great job. We're a church. Uh, you see, you get a mixture of everything here. We get the praise and worship. We get the choir. You get the, the dance. We do a little bit all for we got from the youngest all the way to the oldest here, I think. Amen. Amen. We got members, I think Big Mama, our oldest members, how old? 90 what? 98 years old. Yesterday I was with Deacon Moody who celebrated our eldest Deacon 90 years. Woo! My God. My God, we got some, some seniors here and we have some young ones here. Amen. And I, I, We are blessed to have a, 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 a church that, that ministers to all of the generations. Amen. Amen. It's not easy, but some type of way God allows us to do it. Amen. Praise God. We are in the midst of a great time. Great time. Amen. I don't want to get the men of God up to preach the word of God, so I'm not going to prolong the time any longer. We have had a great time so far. Amen. Amen. Everyone stand to your feet. Everyone stand as we get ready to hear from heaven. Amen. We believe that when the men of God represents the voice of God, Amen. And he, we believe in God is going to speak to us on this afternoon for our 58th year anniversary. Amen. I'm so happy to have with me my friend, my brother. Amen. All the way from New York. Amen. I want y'all to put your hands together. Although he is from Chicago, give him a good Chicago welcome as he come to bring the word of God. Come on, put your hands together for Pastor Henry. Lee Jordan as he come in his own way. Come on. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise. Come on. I will bless thee, O Lord. I will bless thee, O Lord. With the heart of thanksgiving I will bless thee O Lord I will bless thee O Lord I will bless thee O Lord hallelujah come on with the heart of thanksgiving y'all help me sing it what you want you I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Come on, with my hands, with my hands lifted up, and my mouth filled with praise, with the heart of thanksgiving, I will bless thee, O oh Lord. Come on, one more time, with my hands, come on. With my hands lifted up, oh, and filled with praise, oh, thanksgiving, oh, I will bless thee, oh, Lord. Come on, everybody, lift your voice, help me sing, come on. I will bless thee, oh, Lord. With those hands, come on, let's give him some glory. Come on, won't you? Come on, you can have your seats in the presence of the Lord. It is again that we are honored and we are grateful uh, to God, whom is our Father, from whom all of our blessings most certainly do flow. Uh, we give honor to the angel of this house. Come on, my covenant brother, my blood brother. Come on, my covenant brother, the pastor. 
Contrail Jenkins, come on, Lively Stone. Let's show some love for your pastor. It's, it's great to, to see in all of these men and women of God who are sharing uh, here this afternoon. It is just good for all of us uh, to, be, to be here. It is amazing to see uh, the impact that Lively Stone continues to have, not only in, in this Austin community on the west side of Chicago, uh, but throughout this entire city. Uh, Lively Stone has impacted so many people and so many souls over the years of 58 years, and it's continuing, come on. It is continue to push and continuing to press. Uh, and I thank God for not only the vision, but the visionary uh, who continues to stay faithful to God, uh, even in the call that's on his life uh, for years, uh, moving and maneuvering through this church, uh, literally uh, came through the ranks. Uh, amen. There's probably not uh, a screw in this church that Pastor Jenkins doesn't know where it's at. Come on, mopping the floor, sweeping the floor, vacuuming as a child and growing up as a man and growing up into the ministry and continuing a legacy uh, that his father laid a major foundation. Uh, he's doing a good job, bro. I just want to thank God for our kinship as well uh, as our friendship because even um, throughout our years of friendship, uh, even when the Lord uh, have taken us uh, to another state and to another city, uh, our kinship continues and you continue to bless me man either every time we talk and even the moments where I watch you from afar I still learn and glean from the things that God has blessed you with and continue to impact people across this entire state of Illinois and so I'm just honored to to be here uh, and to share in this 58th year uh, anniversary uh, praise the Lord Lively Stone was a church that I practiced preaching in, literally, uh, on Sundays and during the week. Uh, we sharpen our tools. We believe that iron uh, sharpens iron. And out of all these preliminaries, I do have to say this. Um, Lively Stone, I did come to um, get a check. I came to get a check. I came, I came to get a check. We're going to have to do something uh, because Pastor Jenkins was with us at Shiloh Baptist Church in New Rochelle uh, last December. And Hurricane Jenkins came through our sanctuary and just tore the roof off and tore the pews and the carpet up. And I went to the insurance company. And they told me, Pastor Jordan, we do not... Uh, cover acts of God. <laughs> Amen. He blessed us, man, and blessed us in a major and a, and a mighty way. So I just want to thank God. Y'all help me celebrate your pastor one more time. Come on. Help me celebrate him. Help me celebrate him. Amen. Uh, and you can't also celebrate him without celebrating Lady Jenkins, who sets the fragrance. Come on to this church and it sets the fragrance to his ministry amen my wife is here uh, lady Tia just raise your hand come on do that amen and uh, my my family uh, is here worshiping with me today my mama is in the sanctuary come on no too many people get mama out but me and my sisters <laughs> and so she's here with me uh, this afternoon, I'm just grateful to have her. My sister Darlene, come on, is, is she snuck in? She's in the back. My sister, come on, wave your hand. My sister Joanne uh, is present. My brother in law, amen. My brother, really, we don't say brother in law, but it's my brother Michael. Come on, raise your hand. Come on, do it, man. That's it. I got to give that, amen. My nephew Marcus is here, amen. And my brother Tony uh, is present. Praise the Lord. It's just good for all of us, amen, to be here. Listen, Pastor didn't bring me to give all these preliminaries, so come on, let's get to the word. 
Uh, let's to the word. Chapter 17 of Matthew's Gospel. The Gospel of Matthew. Um, chapter chapter 17 and I want to commence reading at um, verse 14 Matthew chapter number number 17 uh, and um, And at verse 14, uh, it's good to see Curtis Moore. We call him Junior. Amen. Um, Junior played with us at Cornerstone many years ago. Not many, but quite a few. Amen. He helped me practice and try to develop uh, my voice a little bit. <laughs> you can't help but to preach when Junior's on the organ. Amen. Or sing, I promise you. Uh, Matthew, Matthew chapter 17 and um, in verse 14. Um, come on, let us all stand for the reading of God's word. Good to see Reverend Taylor. Man, bless you, my brother. That's my other bro. Come on, man. It's good to see you. Um, Matthew chapter 17. In verse number 14, you have it say, Amen. Amen. There the word of the Lord, it says, And when they were come to the multitude, there came to him a certain man kneeling down to him and saying, Lord, have mercy on my son, for he is lunatic and sore vexed. Oft times he falleth into the fire and off into the water. Brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. And Jesus answered and said, O faithless and perverse generation, how long shall I be with you and how long shall I suffer you? Bring him hither to me. And Jesus rebuked the devil. Everybody say rebuked. And he departed out of him. The child was cured from that very, very hour. I really want to focus in on verse 16 when the father testifies to Jesus. He says, and I brought him to thy disciples and they could not cure him. That's where I want to pitch my tent uh, this afternoon. I want to talk about don't get it twisted. Uh, don't, <clears throat> don't get it twisted. Don't, yeah, don't get it twisted. Come on, let's give God a hand of praise for this word today. A lot of times, church, when, when you're dealing uh, with um, interpreting the scripture that particularly deals with the moments of miracles in which Jesus performs, you, you always have to make sure that you you discover uh, the, the who, what, why, when, where, and how of the particular text um, that you're interpreting. Um, you, you have to do your due diligence because Application is key. You got to look at, you know, who was involved and uh, what happened. And, uh, why did it happen? Or the particulars of how it took place. Um, where uh, it took place and who, who was involved and what was involved with the who was involved. 
You can't just get caught up in the action of the miracle. Because a lot of times we, and I've done it, we, we go right to uh, the climax or the crevice of the story. Uh, we go right to the miracle. But sometimes we miss the message uh, that's uh, within the miracle before the miracle was performed. And I know that it, it may seem uncanny to deal with this particular text in the presence of uh, a church anniversary. But ladies and gentlemen of Lively Stone, when you really look at the content of the context within the text, you'll discover that it's not just about the revelation of the power of Jesus Christ being able to cast out demons and yet still to perform miracles. But this text also speaks to the trust issues of the disciples. They had trust issues. Because if you look at the text where we focused in on the father came to the disciples to cure out the demon from this young fellow. The text says they could not do it. And the issue is, why it's important, is because in chapter 10, Lively Stone, Jesus had empowered them. He empowered the church. To heal the sick, come on church, and raise the dead, and to cast out demons. But at their first opportunity of doing what Jesus empowered them to do outside of his manifest presence, the father said that they could not, they could not cure him. So it not only speaks to the miraculous abilities of Jesus Christ, but this text also speaks to us as the representation of the church. That if we're not careful of developing trust issues, we will not be capable of doing what the Lord has already empowered us to do. And that's why I wanted to, wanted to talk about this because... In the modern day church and where we are now, we, we seem to, to struggle with believers that are cynical. They don't have a problem with believing in the reality of God's power or his presence. But they lack trust in believing in his abilities. Let me say it again. We, we, we have believers who, who, who don't struggle with the reality of God. Know he's real. Come on. No, I mean, know he's real. Know, know he saved your soul. Know he made you whole. But there are moments in life where what we see oftentimes causes us to have trust issues in his ability. Not that he's real. Not that he's not real. But maybe he can't handle this situation. And let me suggest this question to us today. Do we have enough trust in our faith in God in spite of what we see to hold on to that trust in our faith until what we see matches what he said? Do we? Do we still have trust when 
when things don't look the way in which we feel as if they should, do we? Do we still have trust in him when what we see, we can't make sense out of? Can we? Can we still trust in a God that the true reality of it sometimes we can't trace? Can we, can we trust in our faith and knowing that faith is the substance of things hoped for and the evidence of things that are not seen? And I come to suggest to us today, don't get it twisted. No, no matter what you see, no matter what you deal with, no matter what we go through, we still serve a God that has the power that will work through any reality that we deal with in our life. We still serve a God, let me say it like this, who is yet still able. I wish I had 25 people. I make number 26 that you've been through some stuff that tested your faith. You've been through some stuff that tested your trust, but through it all, you learned that no matter what you dealt with, God was still able to bring you through and to bring you over. Look at somebody real quick and tell them he's still a miracle worker. a miracle worker and this is what happens in the text ladies and gentlemen the first thing about the text is to teach us about don't get it twisted number one first thing we got to learn how to do and when life happens when life starts to life sometimes you got to learn how 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 to free yourself from fruitless fellowships <laughs> got to free yourself you got to free yourself from fruitless fellowships here's what happens this is the same chapter Jesus goes Mount of Transfiguration he's got just a few of the twelve with him left a few back bottom of the mountain here this father comes literally came to fellowship says got my son he's messed up you know he's sore vexed he, he, he displays what we would consider um, an unnumerable amount of epileptic fits. He would often fall in the water, often fall in the fire. He wouldn't stand up straight. Everything he was doing, literally, it was not making sense. He would fall in the fire, fall in the water, foam at the mouth. Now here it is, church. He brings his son to the disciples. I'll get to that piece later, but he look, they look at him, can't cure him. This man did not give up hope. He did not give up his trust. He did not give up in his faith. Even in the inabilities of what the disciples could not do. He still goes and presses his way. To find Jesus. Because when we see him, he has a conversation with Jesus. Let me put it to you like this. He didn't allow that fruitless fellowship to affect how he fellowshiped with Jesus. Okay. 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 Yeah. He didn't allow it to stop him. He did not allow it to prohibit him. He still pushed and pressed even though the disciples could not cure him, he said, I got to still make it. I got to go to where Jesus is. And this is the season of a lot of us. Ladies and gentlemen, we need to learn how to free ourselves from fruitless fellowships. When we fellowship, a lot of us fellowship with folks who don't add anything to our life. They don't add anything to our relationship with the Lord they don't add any positivity we deal with more takers than we do adders but this is a season now the devil is a lie we got to learn how to free ourselves from fruitless fellowships there are about nine of us in here right now you got a phone you got a contact list you got some people right now that you need to swipe off delete 
You need to swipe off delete. You need to swipe off delete. We need to connect ourselves to people who are either connected with the Lord or at least trying to stay connected to who he is. I wish I had some help here that can testify. We got to free ourselves. Gotta, because because this, this, they could not they could not cure him. And ladies and gentlemen, whether we know it or not, as we look at this boy who's possessed with demons, I got to tell you, let me just pause real quick. The devil is making it his mission to be after our children. The devil is doing all he can to go after our young adults. He's doing all that he can to go after their mental health. He's going all that he can do to give them anxiety, for them to deal with depression, for them to deal with degradation. But I gotta stand and say this again the devil is a lie we gotta get to a space where we know that ministry beyond these walls they still matter he says he looks and they could not they could not cure him ladies and gentlemen not only do we have to free ourselves from fruitless fellowships number one number two watch this we have to also have have we have to we have to have a faith that can overcome a horrible history right. gotta have faith that overcomes a horrible history right. here it is he comes to Jesus disciples could not cure him he brings his son closer to the master but here's what's deep about it. He puts the situation on hold and he does a revival on the church. Come on, it's, it's right here. Don't hang up on me. He, it's, it's, it's right there in the text. He says, he says under them, verse number 17, he tells them to bring the son, bring him hither to me. He says, I, the father said, I besought the disciples and they could not cure him he puts the boy on hold and then he starts to talk to the church he says oh faithless and perverse generation now now that word faithless church does does not mean no faith yeah it 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 it, it literally suggests distorted It literally means without trust. You have a faith without trust. Okay, all right. Okay, you, you, you have a faith that, that's not concealed with, with, with the trust. It's not that you don't have faith. You, you, you have trust issues. You got something's going on with, with your trust. You, it's not the fact that you don't have any faith, but something's going on with the trust. He says, oh, faithless and perverse. That word perverse means to become corrupted. Okay, so somewhere after he empowered them, there was something that caused them to have a development of a trust issue and to become corrupted. This situation had nothing to do with their reading or their learning. It had all to do with their perception. Hey, come on, church. They, they couldn't do it because they had trust issues and their faith had become corrupted. Come on, let me, let me paint the picture like this. They see this boy come. He's falling in the fire. Falling in the water, foaming at the mouth, can't stand up straight. They look at him, see his situation. They conclude that because of what he's doing, this don't make sense. We, 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 this, 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 this ain't normal. This, we, we can't do nothing. We can't do nothing with this. We can't. 
We, we can't do nothing with this, this, this young fellow. We, we can't do anything. Look at, what, look at how he's doing. He, 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 he's foaming at the mouth. He's, he's falling in the water. He's falling in the fire. They conclude from their perception that nothing can be done. Come here, Lively Stone. Have y'all ever had a moment in life where things look like it didn't make sense? Okay, I, I know. I get it. I get it. I'm surrounded by, by people who, who pray all the time. And every prayer you've had, the Lord answered. And every time you talk to him, he came through right then and there. I, 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 but I know it's about seven of us who are real in this sanctuary. You know that you've had some moments in your life. You, you had some times in your life. Not, not the fact that you doubted. And not the fact that you didn't have faith. You, you still came to Sunday school. You still came to church. You still knew some of the word in your life. But you took a look at this situation. And you said to yourself. I don't know how I'm going to make it through this. I don't know how I'm going to get through this. This don't make no sense. If it ain't one thing. It's another. I and fix this situation now I got to deal with this situation it looks like the more I take five steps forward I get not 11 steps back it don't make no sense I wish I had somebody here that can testify that you had some seasons where you had faith but you had some trust issues it wasn't that it wasn't that you didn't have faith. It was just this time, I don't know. If, if I'm going to make it through. This time, I don't know if, if, if it's going to come through. This time, I don't know if it's going to come. I, I know the doors have been closed, but I don't know if another door is going to open. My back has been up against the wall. I, I don't know if I'm going to get able to get out of this situation, but I've come to suggest that you got to have a faith that can handle no matter what's happened no matter what happened to your family no matter what happened to your friends what happened to other people it ain't got nothing to do with me i wish i had a witness here that knows you gotta have a faith that gives you the trust to still handle what's already taken place i wish i had one person to help me that knows the true reality that they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength I know what the doctor said I know what they suggested but no weapon that is formed against me shall prosper I know they said I wouldn't make it I knew they said I wouldn't be successful but all things work together for the good of them that love the Lord tell somebody you gotta have that kind of faith you gotta have that kind of faith cause no matter no matter how it looks the father still kept pressing towards Jesus if I could paint the pictures like this um, there was a there was a art collector had this painting on the wall this painting on the wall was Jesus and Satan playing chess and the picture said the devil wins so a chess player comes in looks at this picture on the wall it said the title of this picture is incorrect so the owner of the painting came and said what do you mean I hear you, you, you bringing all this confusion about something's wrong with my picture he says yes he says nothing wrong with the picture just something wrong with the title he says, the title says the devil wins. Well, well, come on. He says, well, look at, look at, look. The, Jesus has a stern look on his face. Uh -huh. He says, and the devil is smiling. Well, well. He said, their reactions show that the title of the picture, uh, Reverend Taylor, is correct. Okay. Well, well. He says, no, I can't tell you why uh, the Lord has a stern look on his face. I can't tell you why. The devil is smiling. But what I can tell you is, is that if you look at this chessboard, the devil has not won. 
as a matter of fact, if you really look closely, the devil has really lost. He said, well, why do you say that the devil's lost? He said, because if you look from the perspective of where Jesus is sitting, he's about to win. He says, because if you look at the king, the king has still got one more move. And I wonder, is there anybody here today that no, no matter what your history suggested, you survived and you're still here because the king had one more move. Look at somebody real quick and tell them, said neighbor, I'm evidence that faith can handle history because I am a survivor. Doesn't matter, King had one more move. He had one more. Yeah, not only church. Do you need to have faith? Yeah, they can overcome a horrible history. But watch this. Thirdly, you gotta also have faith that can cause a miracle to happen. Here it is in the text, verse number 18. After Jesus puts the young fella on hold, he tells the father. Bring thy son hither. The other gospel writers who describes this particular saga in the Bible, ladies and gentlemen, they point out the fact that Jesus says unto the Father, Do you believe that I can do this? The Father lets it be known by telling Jesus, Yes, I believe. And I wonder today, is there anybody in this room who feels just like that father still feels? That yes, I still believe. You can look in the face of whatever the doctors have suggested. And you can still say yes, I still believe. You, you, you can look at, at, at what others have suggested about what your future may look like but you still can look at the what the Lord has put in your own heart and say to yourself yes I still believe yes can you still look at a negative bank account and trust the Lord enough and say yes I still believe sickness is in your body but you can still say yes I still believe I wish I had one somebody that's got enough trust in the Lord that you know you can still trust him until what you see matches what the Lord has said yeah but I see the father testifying to Jesus saying I still believe and I hear Jesus saying for things are possible to those that believe and I see Jesus said bring him hither bring him to me and he cleansed the young man rebuked the demon and he returned the son to the father healed from his issue and I 
got to leave you here this afternoon but I came by to testify to lively stone that whatever the Lord has in store for you just only keep believing when you have vision keep on believing your visionary pastor jenkins has vision beyond these walls he has vision not just for the church he has vision for the community he has vision for the block he has vision for the city and I don't care how it looks how impossible it may seem just to remind you don't get it twisted we serve a God that's still evil cause whenever there is vision the Lord will give provision I wish I had some help here that can testify that the Lord is still able can I get one to know the Lord is a miracle worker look at somebody that's beside you now tell them say neighbor tell them you're next in line for a miracle Yes, sir, you're next in line for a breakthrough Cause the God and whom we serve He is a miracle worker Good God Almighty, can I get one That know the Lord will come can I get two to know he's brought you through? Can I get three to know he set you free? Can I get four to know he'll open doors? Can I get five to know he's still alive? Can I get six? They know there's no problem that God can't fix. Can I get seven that's on your way to heaven? Can I get eight that know he's never too late? Can I get nine that know he'll show up on time? But can I get ten that know he did it before? He'll do it again. Say God. Oh, say God. Yes, sir. He'll do it one more time. Come on and help me. Help somebody else. Because you don't know what the person beside you is dealing with. You don't know what is going on when their life after the benediction. So why don't you help me help somebody beside you? Grab a neighbor by the hand. Come on, we got hand sanitizer. Just help me preach. Grab a neighbor by the hand and don't hold their hand like it's a dead fish. Don't hold their hand like they look like they've been covered in pickle juice. But hold their hand with some oil in your hand. Hold their hand like you're a child of God. And if the Lord has worked some miracles for you, shake their hand. If the Lord 
has paid some bills for you. Shake their hand. If the Lord has healed your body, shake their hand. If the Lord has opened doors for you, shake their hand. Shake their hand and rock their hand. Shake them and rock them. Rock them and shake them. And said, neighbor, I don't know what you're going through, but don't get it twisted. The reason why I'm shaking your hand like this, cause I am, I'm a miracle. Just look at me. The light has fixed some things for me ain't he all right ain't he all right won't he make a way out of no way won't he open doors others close in your face if you know he will and you know he's a miracle worker let me hear you say it say yeah Open up your mouth uh, and give him some praise. Uh, ah, he's worthy. Ah, worthy. Ah, 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 ah. Do you know he's worthy? Look at somebody and tell them. Say, neighbor, 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 say, neighbor, be not dismayed, whatever be tired. God will take care of you. God will. See you through. Won't he do it? Won't he do it? Say yeah. Give somebody a high five and tell them he did it for me. Won't he work a miracle? Won't he work a miracle? Won't he work a miracle? Come on and help me one more time. Help somebody by you and tell them, said neighbor. I want to encourage you. I am a living testimony. After all I've been through, I'm still here. I'm still here. Give somebody a high five and tell them I'm still here. Just another day. The doors are open. That the Lord has kept me. Just another day that the law has kept me. He has. 
has kept me from all evil. When my mind stayed on him just another day that the Lord has kept me hold on just a little while longer hold on ah! 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 A little while longer hold on just a little while longer everything gonna be everything is gonna be everything 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 Tell somebody, tell them, gonna be. Look at them, tell them, be all right. When the storm of life is raging, stand by me. Praise God. Come on, let's give Pastor Jordan a hand. What a word. Don't get it twisted. My God, what a word. What a word. Wow. That's how we grew up having church. Don't get it twisted. We, we, we got a, little, a lot of Pentecostal in the boat. We're a Baptist church. <laughs> we're, we're a mixture of it all. Thank God for Pastor Jordan again for that powerful word. Praise God. Listen, the door to the church is open. We're going to move right along. The door to the church is open. If you don't know Christ and would like to come into relationship with him, we want to invite you to Christ at this time. If you're in the building, there's nothing else I need to say. He the man that God done said everything. I want to invite you at this time to come right now. If you're watching virtually, you can text the number on the sanctuary. You don't want to walk. You can text the number 773-290-1010, 773-290-1010. You'd like to become a part of this church. It's a good church to be a part of. Amen. It's a good church to be a part of. Amen. We are growing in our faith. We are dealing with our trust issues. Amen. Thank you, man. We heard it. Amen. Amen. Praise God. Believe in God. Come right now. Praise God. We see there anybody else there's room. Come on, give God a praise. We're moving on. We're moving on. We're moving on. Let us prepare now to give. Listen, don't go nowhere. We have food prepared for you. This is our birthday, so we're celebrating today. Amen. So we're not, we're a little later than we normally are, but 
it's our birthday amen it's not a regular sunday so we're going to hang here today and we have enough food for everyone so i want to encourage you to stick around listen i want everyone to give today our tithes and offering but then i want to be a blessing to this man the god who come all the way from new york amen and amen what i need i need for if everyone do their part we'll be good amen i ask every member for an assessment of 100 dollars an assessment that we normally typically give every year for our church anniversary amen we we want to every member to outside of your tithes and offering to give a 100 dollars c amen i really want to bless him he come all the way from new york put him up in a good hotel in oak brook fed him good plane ticket and i want to bless him he did the same thing for me amen can i say he took care of me well Amen. So y'all know how we do. Amen. We take care of our people. All right. So anyone need an envelope, slip a hand up, give regular how you give virtue. Y'all give me some. Y'all give me some of choice. I don't have nothing. Give me some of choice. Give me some good though. Up tempo. Amen. Give me some good and up tempo. It's our church anniversary. All right. Slip, slip, slip. If you need an envelope, slip it. I see a few hands raised. Amen. I see a few hands raised. Let's be a blessing today. I need every member every member that are working jobs to give your $100 seed that we give every year, right? Yeah, that's a good one. Yeah, that's a good one. Good to see Adam here who's been away on tour, man. Hey, I, listen, man, Tony Ferguson was on the front row. I said, I, I didn't even see. I just heard a difference in the sound. Y'all know I'm a musician. He just had, it was a different presence. I'm like, somebody else just got on the bass. <laughs> no, I like the other, other guy. He's good. Y'all know what I mean, but shucks. Come on now. <laughs> yeah. Thank you, man. Good to see you. Amen. He's a part of our church. Amen. I look at him. He's a part of our church. Amen. He's back from tour. He stopped by. Amen. Thank you for stopping by. He's, this is a real guy. He, he's not getting paid anything, I don't think. He just showed up, be a part of his church, and just hop right on the base. Jump right in. Thank you, man. Praise God. All right, let's give. Let's give. Let's give. All right. And then we're going to see a hand. All right. Let's give today. I want to thank all of those yesterday. We was out there in the... Uh, well, they were out there. I wasn't out there, man. Come on, give it up for those that participated in the Austin 5K. Come on. Stone was out there. Amen. Your church was well represented out there in the community at the turnabout, giving out waters, encouraging people. Amen. Celebrate people as they made their turnaround. Amen. Being visible in the community. So thank all of you. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm so excited. Come on, sing. The best. Come on. Come on. We got better days coming. Come on, sing. Singing the best. Oh, yeah. Sing the best. The best. Woo. You gotta believe it. Is it Be encouraged. To God. Come on, tell yourself. Come on, encourage yourself. Lay your hand on yourself and say, the best. Is it Today, to come on, speak this. Today is the first day Today is the of the best day days of my life. Come on, how many of you believe today begins the first day of the best days of your life? See? Today is the first day. Today is the first day. Today is the first day. Best day. Of the best day of your life. Come on, say the best. The best. Is it to come? To come. The best. Woo. The best. Is it 
Pastor, we're getting ready to go. We're getting ready to go. Those that want to be a blessing to Pastor Jordan, just put it in the memo section and, and, and Giblify, Cash Out, Zell. Want to be a, a, a special blessing to him? You want to give it directly to him? That's fine. Just make a note and that seat will go directly to Pastor Jordan. All right? Praise God. All right, that's it. We're getting ready to go. I just want to just say happy birthday, Lively Stone. I love you all. Love you all. You're, you're a great church. I thank you for every member for your, your time that you give to this church, even your generosity to this church with your, with your finances, and even those of you that lend of your gift. I really appreciate you for the gift and for all that you do for your church. Come on, give yourselves a hand. Hallelujah. Come on, do better than that for yourself. We're a great church. Stand to your feet. We're getting ready to go home. We're getting ready to go home. We're getting ready to go home. Okay, I want all the choir members, they want y'all to gather for a quick picture. Don't they look good today? Woo, they look good. Now, like, can I say this? I, I, I counted how many choir members was up here today. I counted. I counted how many choir members up here. I counted them. I, I said one, two, three. I counted all of them. We had a full choir up here today. Hey Amen. I know it's our birthday, but I would like to see that every time the choir come up here and sing. Hey Amen. I want to see a full choir every time we come up here and sing, y'all. All right, so let's get back in rehearsal. All right, let's get back in rehearsal. All the choir members, we got more songs to learn, right? <laughs> more songs to sing. I want to see the whole choir here. Amen. Praise God. To, I, I couldn't let that slide. I couldn't let y'all get back like that. Saw y'all here and then next week it'd be seven choir members up here. I want to see the same 19 that I saw up here. Amen today. Praise God. Hallelujah. We get ready to go home. Let's go out on this song. Come on, Sam. We're going to say you ain't seen nothing yet. Come on, everybody say. Look at your neighbor and tell them you ain't, you ain't seen nothing. Seen nothing. We got some great things ahead of us. Look at them and tell me. I'm giving you permission to point at your neighbor. Stay right there. Come on, point at them and tell them you ain't seen nothing. Come on, look at them and tell them. Find somebody and tell them. See nothing. Come on, stay right there. Say it again. You ain't. You ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, you ain't, we're praying, Father, we thank you for this service, we thank you for 58 years, Woo. thank you, oh God, for covering and keeping our church, Lord, we thank you for your protection, your blessing, your favor that is upon our church, Lord, thank you for 58 years. Lord, we thank you for what you have done, but we believe and we are excited about what you're going to do in our future, Lord. We believe that our best days are yet ahead of us. We believe this for our church and for our lives. In the name of Jesus, Father, as we get ready to leave from this place, we pray for your peace and protection and provision upon everyone that's under the sound of my voice until we shall gather again. Lord, I ask right now, bless the food. I don't have to go downstairs and bless it. Bless the food. Hallelujah. Oh, 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 glory. That we're about to receive right now. Somebody say yes. 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 Thank you, God, for the food. Hands that prepared it in Jesus' name. We love you. We adore you. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. We thank you. We praise you. And everybody said amen. Amen. Come on. Say you are. Say it again. All right, let's try it now. Y'all ready? Take me up to that two shot. Two shot.
Come on, choir. We want to get a good picture of all the choir members. Come on, choir, choir, choir. Run up here real quick.